We are here live at the Glemo Museum where a powerful talk about the humanitarian crisis in Gaza just took place. Here with me is Dr. Tarek Lubani, who has been in Gaza during the recent protests in May and was actually shot on the front lines. Doctor, what was that like? Well, the day that I was shot, May 14th, there were 1,700 other people who were shot. Uh, and 19 other medical professionals who were also wounded with live fire. It was a terrible day for everybody. It was chaotic. It was unnecessary. Uh, the protesters were peaceful. They were demanding their rights to movement, to education, to health care. Um, and ultimately, it was a tragic event that ended up taking the life of a fellow paramedic uh, who I was working with, Musa Abu Hassanin. And so why is it so important to inform people here in Calgary and in Canada what is, what's happening in Gaza? Canadians support human rights in Palestine, and they always have. What they want is to know what exactly the situation is like from people who have been there, because access to uh, the Gaza Strip and to the Palestinian territories is so difficult. It's difficult for me to get there. I've suffered getting there uh, both monetarily and um, for other reasons. I was even in jail trying to get there once. So it's difficult to, to get there, and Canadians want to know what's happening. They have a feeling that something is wrong, and they want to put facts and, and figures behind it. And so what can people do to help? The most important thing that people can do to help Palestinians is being in solidarity with them, understanding that these are people who, by and large, are fighting for their rights, uh, their basic human rights, and not more than that. Uh, if people want, then they can donate. We were here at a fundraiser for Islamic Relief Canada. They can donate to that organization or any organization. The United Nations Relief Works Agency is another one that recently had massive funding cuts from the United States. The other thing that people can do is start getting engaged, talk to their politicians. I don't think that people should be asking for a free Palestine. I think they should be asking for human rights for Palestinians. And that's a request that rings true to us as Canadians and that rings true to our government as well. Well, thank you so much, Doctor, for your insight. We really, really appreciate it. Like you said, um, the event here is to raise funds for medical supplies, for hospitals, uh, because people in Gaza, they, they can't get to basic health care, and that is a huge problem. Live here at Glemo Museum, Kendra Fowler, City News.